43. Compare the atomic and molecular orbital diagrams to identify the member of each of the following pairs that has the highest first ionization energy, which is the most tightly bound electron, in the gas phase. So we have oxygen, and then we have its molecule, O2. Which one of these is going to have the highest first ionization energy? Well, remember, an ionization energy is the energy needed to lose an electron. So we're going to be plucking off electrons, basically one electron, because it's the first one ionization energy. So we're going to pluck off an electron from just oxygen and from O2, and one of them would have a higher energy. Now just know that if something has high energy, especially high ionization energy, that means that it's really, really, really hard to do, right? If you're, if you're exerting a lot of energy to lose an electron, that means that it's hard to do. And if it's really, really hard, chances are it doesn't want to lose that electron. So if it's super hard to do, it's a stable substance. So now in this case, we just have to figure out, well, which one is more stable, O by itself or O2? Let's see. So we're just going to compare atomic and molecular orbital diagrams. Just know that your atomic is always on the sides, and that's just because you're just dealing with the oxygen on the left and the right side. And your molecular is in the middle because you're dealing with your O2. So the hardest thing here is to just know, well, how many valence electrons are we working with, right? These types of diagrams always come from valence electrons. But oxygen is in group six, so that means that it has six valence electrons. Now, it's in 6a, 6, or 16, but the lucky number here is six, six valence electrons for oxygen. And what you're going to do is we're going to place six electrons in each um, atomic orbital. And remember, you always got to start at the bottom and work your way up to the top. So I'm going to start here. So I say one, and now I'm going to have to fill this before I move up here. So I have two electrons here, three. Now I have to go to the next one. You got to be fair, four, five, and then come back around six, six electrons for the oxygen over there, and I'll just do the same over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now with this, we're just gonna take note where our energy is. Now, the highest energy for my atoms are over here. So I'm just gonna draw this little line and say, okay, we're right around here. Because we're going to compare the energies between your oxygen and your O2 and see which one is a more stable substance. Now, let's do the molecule. Now, in order to do that, all you gotta do is just add up your totals that's on the side and put them in the middle. So I have six on one side, six on another, that's a total of 12. So I have to add 12 electrons in the middle, starting from the bottom and working your way up to the top. So one, two, then I move up to the next one, three, four, then I move up to the next one, five, six. Now this one has two that are energy equivalent. So seven, eight, nine, 10. And then I go up here, 11, 12. And then I just take note where that energy is. And that one is a little bit higher. Okay. So this one is for O2 and the one is just for the oxygens. So now we just have to say, out of O2 and just your atoms, right, your oxygen, which one is gonna have the highest first ionization energy? Now remember, we said if it's high energy, it's super hard to do. It's going to be a more stable substance. In terms of energy-wise, the lower the energy, the more stable of a, um, of a substance. So since just oxygen is lower than O2 in terms of energy, losing the one electron from here, specifically it would be here, would be much harder than losing an electron up top here. So which one would have the first ionization energy, the higher one? 
It would just be O. And that is your final answer. That's it. What'd you think? I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. And if you wouldn't mind, uh, please tell your friends, your classmates about this channel. We might be able to help them out as well. I hope you're doing a great job out there and have a great day. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.